check this out peeps I'm super poor people and the grocery budget is getting smaller and smaller because I still need to pay for things like Charlie's braces and I got this genius idea if I keep the bottles from my vitamin waters and buy less of those and make tea and put it in those in my tea thingy I drew a black line with a permanent waterproof marker that top black line that bottom one was me being sloppy oops and charlie actually liked the peach tea that i made earlier oh there he is hey what's up this video has a thousand views now what what are you talking about the customization card pressure 2 update you got almost a hundred subs and you got dude this is your first time with the video with the k on the number freaking sweet man well, left-handed, um, high five. Keep up the good work. Oh, tell everybody what you thought about the sweetened peach tea I made that you tried. It just tastes like a Snapple. A Snapple? Yeah. I'm going to be making more of these for this weekend for you. Okay. So can I drink one now? <laughs> you already had one. It's not even cold yet. Oh. <laughs> you want to put it in the freezer and have it f for with your chicken wings? Yeah. If you like it that much, I gotta figure out how to brew a bunch of it, you know? Maybe make a pitcher for us. Check out this dude, he's so hardcore. How many wings, wings did you have so far? Three. Three? And he hasn't even touched his tea yet. Try it, show the viewers how much you like it. He's really picky about food. He doesn't like cheesecake. He doesn't like pound cake. He loves the shakes I make. And he loves the hot wings I make. And these are like hotter than Buffalo Wild Wings. Well, not their top, top one that no one eats because they would die. Hey, your grandpa texted me and said we should check out a park that is called Topiary Park. And it has bushes that are shaped like animals. Do you want to go this weekend? Sweet. We'll make it part of this video. Peach tea, peach tea, one teaspoon liquid stevia. Mm. It's so strong, so potent. Peach tea. Hey, I made you more tea. Okay. I think he hangs out in my room mostly because I have the good mono price multi charger thingy. What's it for his tablet? Yeah, it doesn't have sharp sounds all the time. I thought about getting another one of these chargers and putting it in the living room, but then he wouldn't be in here yelling at me, pause it, pause it all the time when I'm making comments on TikTok videos because I just keep looping. And it's pretty annoying. <laughs> it starts to get annoying after a while. All right, how do we get into this park? First thing we need to know is how to get in this park. Let's see where the entrance is. Look at all the weird human bushing things. I think that's like a business or something down there. That's a high school over there. Oh. And we had to get quarters, but we didn't actually have to use them. Yeah, because, because it was free parking. It's free parking. Well, we drove all the way home and came back. The place still was only like a 20 minute drive. Oh, here, Charlie was right. The entrance was this way. It says right here, alcohol is prohibited. That means it's the entrance. The Topiary Garden, begun in the blah, 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 and I say a whole bunch of stuff. Topiary Garden, begun in 1989 by the Columbus Recreation and Parks Department. Is a recreation of the sculpted shrubbery Topiary of French artist Georges Seward's St St famous painting, a Sunday afternoon on the Lee D. I don't know how to pronounce that either. I if Point I, at it. A Sunday afternoon on the Ile de la Grande Jatte. It's because I took French. 1884. To see the front of the painting, go to the top of the easternmost hill and stand near the small black marker set into the path. There, too, you will find a bronze replica of the painting for comparison. The topiary project was conceived, designed, and executed by Columbus sculptor James T. Mason. Easternmost hill. That's north. Let's go east! Okay. This is a decent looking park. Yeah. 
Deaf School Park. This 10-acre site was purchased in 1829 for the Ohio School for the Education of the Deaf. The first school building opened here in 1834. The school was enlarged in 1845. In 1868, the original school was replaced. Another school building was added in 1899 and a hospital in 1908. The deaf school was relocated on Morse Road in 1953. Get a shot of that. Focus camera. You can't really see it, but... And also, I'm not supposed to get anywhere close to it because art... To be we can get close to this stuff. That's their iron or whatever, whatever painting it is, not iron. Deaf School Park Tour. The name of it. A landscape interpretation of George Seward's benchmark. So if you stand to the left of the sign and then look down, that's what, that's what he was looking at. Which you can't see because the sun. There we go. If I block the sun like that. It's totally blown out because of exposures. Ooh, here's the shade. Aha. Uh -huh. My eyeballs feel better. <laughs> he laughed when I said my eyeballs feel better. They must be really difficult to cut and to keep them that shape without getting all wrangly looking. Apparently they have to keep looking like something a sculpture guy saw in the 1800s in Paris. Forever. It's something that we would lose if the world went to crap. Like right now, kind of. Yeah, those look like soldier people. Soldier shaped carrots people. Yeah, carrots in their he in their helmets. And look at that person that's shaped like a chair. It looks like a sumo wrestler. And an animal. It looks like a raccoon, but it's not. I know it isn't. And from this end, it just looks like a blob. Yeah, it makes me laugh on how it looks like it looks. And this is, probably if you looked at this one from the other side, looks like a lady laying down probably. And also if you're not hearing wind, it's because we have a, a wind cap on, which some people call it dead cat, but it's really cat throw up. It's floppy. Because <laughs> <laughs> like, it looks like something a cat coughed up. Like, you know those fur balls cats cough up? Yeah, that's what yeah. that is. I don't know why YouTubers got to be calling this a dead cat. What kind of morbid stuff is going on in their brain when they make their videos? Like, and then this person's sitting and reading a book. It doesn't really look like a book anymore. It looks like a basket of fried chicken. It's got metal in there to hold the shape, I think. Look at the back of this one. The intricate intertwinings of metal with woods. And future wood I'm not even sure what this is supposed to be. A snowman person? Looking, looking at the ducks. Ground. He's a snowman person looking at the ducks. See? Snowman person. Ducks. Oh, there's a boat. It's a boat bush. Could you imagine trying to keep that all trimmed and all purdy? You'd have to be all up in the mussy water. And these are future planned boats. Uh, you might not be able to see. These are very, very calm ducks. They're used to humans throwing bread at them. Oh, this was a nice one. Like you have this umbrella person. And also there's more boats, obviously. And also the water is like two feet deep, by the way. I'm not going in it because it's gross, mossy, algae water. I don't want algae in my feet right now, especially my pants. Nothing it's to awesome. protect the junk. Special junk protection pants. And this is a couple surrounded by poison ivy. <laughs> this is the couple of poison. That one right there, I think that's a poison thing. They are evil. Well, the shafts are kind of straight. It might not be poison ivy, but there's a lot of it and it's, it doesn't look organized. Okay. This stuff looks organized and nice. Except I think you can pale them. So. There's really nothing else here in the park except some trees, some other trees, some rando peeps doing their walk-ins and some benches for sitting that are out in a boot. I don't know why I'm talking Canadian, but there's a bench for sitting, rock dur. Canadian is in a language. It's Canada English or something. Canadian English, question mark? Yeah. Or, yeah. I'm so used to talking American. English. <laughs> hey, this is a bench we're gonna sit at, and apparently it's dedicated to Jane Williams from her family and friends. So that was Topiary Park. 
Thanks for watching our video. I thought there would be a lot more things. I liked it. It was a lot of artistic stuff and a yeah. nice big park to walk around if you want to go for a run yeah. or a bike ride. There are a couple people biking or just come and sit and sit in the shade. And don't be in their sweaty, depressing house five minutes away. <laughs> like ours. Yeah. Well, hey, yes. Hey, you see my house is sweaty and depressing? Your neighborhood is. Oh. <laughs> Your house is a lot better than a, a lot of the houses over there. Yeah, maybe I'll get an upgrade someday. Get subscribed so you make sure you see all my videos because the more videos people see, the more YouTube promotes my videos for other people to see and eventually I'll get monetized and then I'll have an income stream from doing these videos, which is going to increase the quality of the content and also maybe I can move into a better house and in a better neighborhood. After here, I'm going to check if K. John's is open at the North Market and get to grab some hot sauce. But then we'll cut back to here so we can say the ending. Actually, North Market was closed, so we stopped by BW3's. Sorry for the audio quality. I'm using the mic in the phone, but I'm going to talk, talk close to the phone. Look at the state of BW3's. They barely have any chairs because of social distancing. And the lights aren't barely on. Like, it's, it's the darkness in this booth. But he said it's relaxing. Right? Yep. yep. No, hustling, hustling. There's like three people here. Before I dive into these wings, check that out, that sticker right there. That says wild. And there's no other wings on this table. There's our masks. There's our waters. And that's the Charlie Monster with nutcrackers of steel eating the wild. I didn't really taste any spicy. <laughs> Were the wings we had yesterday hotter or milder than this? Hotter. We had hotter wings yesterday than these. Yeah, this tastes kind of lame. Nutcrackers of steel, this dude. Thanks for watching the video. I've been Robert Jean. I've been Charlie McDonald. Watch some more videos, get subscribed, and uh, go ahead and share the love by clicking the like bucket. The, by clicking that. The like bucket. Go yes, ahead. give us all the likes and subscribes. Make sure to subscribe to me if you like gaming videos and tutorials. And share the love by clicking like below. Thanks. Bye. Bye.